Hello, I'm Deskbot. I live inside digital technology. Well, I say live but actually I'm really just a complicated combination of zeros and ones. You might have heard the expression, data? That's what I symbolize and what this video will be about. In digital technologies, data refers to how information can be represented using number codes. Kind of like the computer algorithms that tell the zeros and ones how to make me move my arms and open my mouth. Even my voice is being generated by number codes. Some other examples of data include alphabetic letters, numbers, symbols, images and sounds. Number codes are very powerful. By using them, data can be stored, manipulated and communicated by digital systems. Haha. <laughs> Did you get all that? Let's have a look at some of the everyday digital systems and peripheral devices we use all the time to transmit different types of data. Peripheral devices are things we can connect to a digital system, but are not essential to it, like printers, cameras, mice, USB sticks and smartphones. Please remember to keep your personal data and private information safe. There are a lot of trolls out there. Always follow your classroom's established netiquette practices. Okay, Paul. Let's cue the video. Right. Thank you, Paul. So, you see, people use peripheral devices with their digital systems every day. You're using a digital system right now, watching this video. Okay let's do some work class. In groups of 3 or 4, please talk about what peripheral devices you use every day, once a week, once a month, or hardly ever. Please also discuss what data safeguards you use, but don't tell anyone your passwords, please. Passwords are just one kind of safeguard, can you think of any others? Finally, MP3s are one kind of transferable data. What others can your group think of? It was lovely to meet you. Good luck with your discussion. This is Deskbot, signing off.